Well, it's something we often talk about for adults, mental health, but teens, as we know, are struggling too. Absolutely. Data from the CDC shows about 44% of teens say they have extreme feelings of fear and hopelessness. This week, a local high school is bringing the conversation to the forefront with its students. CBS 2's Mugo Odigwe live at St. Lawrence High School in Burbank to tell us how. Good morning, Mugo. Yeah, good morning, guys. This is a very, very important topic. And as you mentioned, we are getting to that place where we talk about it when it comes to adults, right? But we also need to talk about it when it comes to teenagers because they struggle as well. And that is the goal this entire week here at St. Lawrence High School. And joining me right now is Kelly Urso, a math teacher here at the school, correct? Yeah, right. And th thank you so much for joining us. I know it's super early Absolutely. this morning. But the reason we wanted to talk to you is because this is something that you have experienced personally with your child. Can you talk about that? Sure. So when our youngest was a freshman in high school, she had kind of had that promise of when you get to high school, everything will get better and for her it didn't and there were a bunch of outside factors that just mitigated her mental health struggles so we ended up uh, putting her in an outpatient program we got her the help she needed and from that um, she struggled with her hockey team and was removed and because of that we were able to form team Morgan and start really raising funds to help encourage kids and raise awareness about mental health and you talk about your daughter being removed from the team as opposed to the coach trying to offer ways to help her out. She was removed. What was that like for you when you heard that was the reason why she was being removed from the team? Um, it was really hard for us because that was really the only reason she was getting up in the morning anymore was just to even go to hockey and that was her friends and her family and I know a lot of the students here look at their teammates and the people that they're in band with or in clubs with as their second family. So having to have her go through that while she was struggling anyway was really hard for us to watch. It's frustrating as a parent to not be able to, to help your kid. Why do you think it's so difficult to talk about mental health? I think it's scary, and I can tell you from being in it that two and a half months where things were really dark felt like seven years, and nobody wants those struggles for their kids, so I think it's kind of a, if we just remove it, it will be just easier to not have to deal with if we don't have to talk about it. But the kids see it everywhere. It's on the shows they watch. It's on the people on TikTok they follow. So they're hearing it, so it's very important, which is why I love that St. Lawrence is doing the Wellness Summit to help encourage kids to be proactive about their mental health and how they're using self-care. And I see your shirt says Team Morgan, which is your daughter, and also says hashtag Same Here. Real quick before we run out of time, can you tell us what Same Here is about? Same Here is a, a health organization, World Health Organization, that helps promote mental health and being an advocate for yourself and learning skills and coping mechanisms that we call it your toolbox to put things together so that when you are in those lower times, the kids can know when to ask for help and that it's okay to ask for help. And I think that's really part, they have a schools program that we've brought here to St. Lawrence. It's very exciting. Yeah, that's definitely the key here, which is knowing that it is okay to ask for help and also being able to process what you're feeling and explaining that to someone else who might be able to help you. Now, we know the leadership week here, which is also part of wellness, it all started out because of students. They said this is something they want to talk about. So coming up at 6.15, we'll hear from two students who helped put all of this together. For now, though, I'll send it back to you all in the studio. All right, Mugo, thank you so much.